coming back and thank you for your support god bless you for coming back here if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload i can promise you this <laughs> So dear friends, like I promised you that, I'm going to be sharing with you the challenges that black women go through on online dating apps so that you don't feel like you are alone, so that you don't feel like someone cursed you, so that you don't feel like African mentality if you are a black woman, if you know you know that maybe someone has bewitched you. <laughs> and that is why you are going through all those challenges on online dating apps no guys i know there is power in knowing that you are not alone and it is good when you're fighting the battle you have someone who understands you and that is me guys i totally understand you and i'm doing these videos to inspire you to make you strong to keep you fighting the battle that you are fighting so dear friends today's story will be about a tanzanian lady who found love on online dating apps and happened what happened that I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video. She is 27 years of age by the name of Edith. You are going to learn a lot of things guys through this story of Edith because she went through a lot guys, a lot. When I tell you a lot, I mean a lot. No guys, it is going to change your life actually. If you are on online dating apps, even if you are not on online dating apps guys, you will still learn a lot. So without wasting much of your time, because the story is gonna be a bit long, let us jump into our video. So dear friends, I've known Edith for five years now, and I'm going to be telling you in the story how I came to know Edith. So before we go to how Edith joined online dating apps, or who told her to join on online dating apps? How did she come to know about dating apps? Let me first tell you Edith's story before she joined on online dating apps. Who was Edith? So guys, Edith is a teacher by profession. Edith was in a relationship and this relationship, the way it started, is that it was a Friday evening or Friday night, we can call it. You know when you are single, you tend to go out more during the weekend because you don't have a lot of responsibilities to keep you at home. So that Friday night after work, Edith had planned a night out with her friends and you know in Tanzania during the weekend, it always happens. <laughs> Life is happening. <laughs> they plan to go out and the place where they decided that they're going to spend their night is a beach club. You know in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, there is a lot of beach clubs. We have Indian Ocean. So they went out to that beach club and at the moment they entered to that beach club <laughs> with her friends, she met a high school friend this high school friend is a man by the name of Jamal. When she saw Jamal, she was very, very happy because it was a long time since they met. But Jamal wasn't alone. Jamal was accompanied by another guy who was a white guy. So they greeted and after that, they decided to go on another table, sit and order some drinks. As they were taking drinks, Jamal's friend, who is a white guy, started telling Jamal that I like that lady. I would really like to know her. So it was like this white guy, <laughs> it was love at first sight when he saw Edith. But for Edith, it was just normal. She did not feel anything for the guy. And as Edith tells me is that the guy wasn't all that good looking and Edith was a lady who really likes good looking men. <laughs> so for Edith, it wasn't a big deal at all. She did not feel anything. <laughs> no butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> no, nothing. So Jamal went and talked to Edith, told her that, you know what? my friend really likes you and he would like to know you i think the guy has fallen in love just 
by seeing you. <laughs> So Edith was like, really? But you know, I don't like the guy, he's not my type, but don't worry, I can connect him to my friend. So Jamal was like, Edith, don't lose this chance cause the guy is loaded. <laughs> if you know, you know, the guy is loaded with money. He has got money. This guy was from Norway. So after Edith hearing money, she changed her mind and said, okay, I'll get to know him. <laughs> so guys, after Edith had talked to Jamal, she went and talked to this guy again and they decided to exchange phone numbers. And from there, guys, they started their relationship. The guy was crazily, crazily in love with Edith. He could give her lots, lots of money. Actually, Edith started getting a lot of friends and these friends could call her boss lady because whenever they could go out she was the one paying everything for them <laughs> guys you know when you have money you get a lot of friends and these friends some of them they are not genuine they just be with you just because you have got <laughs> money you can give them money she also told me that if one of the friends could have a birthday, she could make sure that she arranges a birthday party for that friend, pay for everything <laughs> for that birthday party. So she could spend money anyhow. Actually, I've been giving you a bit of this story, but I never got time to sit down and tell you the whole of it. Of it. So today is the day. So Edith was a bad spender and she was spending a lot because a guy was giving her money. It wasn't her money that she was spending. So they continued the relationship and Leonard decided to introduce Edith to his mother. His stay in Tanzania was three months, but he decided to extend the time cause he was crazily in love with Edith. <laughs> and guys, because everything was going very, very well between Edith and Leonard, Edith decided to introduce him to her friends and some of her relatives because Edith is an orphan. She does not have both parents. But Edith told me that, Bella, I want to be honest with you. I was not in love with the guy. I was just in a relationship with him just because he used to spoil me so much. <laughs> that is why, guys, I request you not to judge Edith. We all make mistakes. So this was her greatest mistake to be with a man and take advantage of him. It was very, very wrong of her. So guys, because love was in the air, <laughs> they decided to take an apartment and start living together. As they were living together, one month passed and Leonard asked Edith if she could get pregnant for him because he was so much in love with her and promised her that I am going to marry you. We are going to be living together in Norway. Just get pregnant because I know our kid will be very, very cute. So for Edith, she was not ready at all to get pregnant, but because of money, <laughs> she was receiving huge amount of money from the guy. She decided to get pregnant for him. So as you are listening to this story, I want you to write me in the comments below. If you were Edith, could you get pregnant for a guy or you couldn't get pregnant for a guy? Was it a right decision for Edith to get pregnant or it wasn't the right decision? Please let me know in the comment section below. So let's continue with our story. Guys, you know, if you are a couple and you always enjoy the goodies <laughs> in the end. So guys, when Leonard had the news that Edith was pregnant, he was very, very happy because <laughs> that is what he wanted. And he told the mother immediately in Norway that we are expecting. <laughs> so Leonard's mother was very, very happy. She started to sending money to Edith, telling her that I want you to take a good care of yourself and the unborn child. Because I've had guys, Norway's grandmothers, they adore their grandchildren. They can do anything for their grandchildren. So I think that is why Leonard's mother started sending money to Edith. So guys, when Edith was two months pregnant, Leonard requested her 
to resign from her job. Remember, I told you she is a teacher by profession <laughs> and she was teaching these international schools. If you are in Tanzania, you are going to understand me when I tell you international schools. They are private schools, very, very good schools in Tanzania. They are called international schools. And even the teachers, the teachers in those schools, the salaries are always higher than the teachers that teaches in public schools or government schools. So Leonard requested Edith that please leave your job. I want you to stay just relaxed, take care of this pregnant. And because you will be joining me in Norway, there is no need for you to continue working. And because Edith was receiving a lot of money higher than her salary, she decided to resign. <laughs> She resigned and stayed at home. Leonard continued giving her money. So Edith's pregnancy was growing and she was four months pregnant. At four months, Leonard called her and told her that I want you to go to the embassy and ask for the requirements of the engagement visa. Cause when he was still in Tanzania, he even engaged Edith. So Edith went to the Norwegian embassy in Tanzania and asked all the required documents. They told her everything. They started preparing for the documents. And that is when I came to know Edith. That day I went to Rita. If you are a Tanzanian, you know what Rita is. It is an office, actually a government office where they issue the birth certificate, they issue, you know, the marriage certificates, they issue those letters of no impediment. So I had gone to Rita for the letter of no impediment so that I can bring it to Italy. And even Edith had gone to Rita to take that letter of no impediment. And I had gone for a photocopy <laughs> of some document that I had forgotten to take a photocopy. So as I was there, I wanted to make a photocopy, but they told me 50 cent is missing. <laughs> so Edith was behind me and told me that, oh, don't worry, I'm going to pay for you. <laughs> so Edith helped me to pay for that photocopy. We started chatting and exchanged phone numbers. So she prepared all her documents so that she can travel to Norway. But the process is when you ask for an engagement visa to Norway, it takes six to 12 months. And when you reach like five or six months, if you are pregnant, they can't give you the visa. They can't allow you to enter into the plane because <laughs> it's a bit risky for a pregnant woman <laughs> of those months to travel. So she was like, I'm just going to apply if they give me the visa before, then that's okay. If they issue me the visa after, then that will be okay too. Because they were all in love, everything was arranged, everything was going very, very well. So guys, like I told you, I was preparing the documents so that I can come to Italy. My trip went okay and I came to Italy. So I left Edith in Tanzania, but we continued chatting. So as she reached six months, still the embassy had not issued the visa to her and she told me everything. But one thing she told me is that Leonard has changed. <laughs> They tend to fight so much. I've been telling you guys, if you are a couple and then you start fighting for no reason, a small thing you fight, all the time you fight, that relationship will never work. So things had started to happen. <laughs> they could fight so much. I tried to ask her, what is the problem? So that I can advise her guys, you know, I'm so good at that. <laughs> So she told me everything, but one day she told me that I think I'm also to blame due to these fights because Leonard, like two days before, he had sent her some songs so that she can listen his favorite songs and told her to watch some kind of, I think, movies, but Edith did not do anything to what Leonard told her. After two days, Leonard asked, 
Did you listen to those songs? Then Edith was, no, I did not. Did you watch the movie that I sent you? Then Edith was, no. So Leonard got very angry and told her that, I think you don't love me. I've been having, you know, sensation that maybe you don't love me like I do. Maybe you are interested in my money only. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, Leonard was a hundred percent correct. Why am I saying this? If you are in a relationship, it's not that you are going to be having the same hobbies. A guy might like football <laughs> and you are not because most ladies, we are not all that into football. But it doesn't mean that you are going to criticize him. You are going to be like, you know, it is useless to watch football. No, you need to try sometimes support him. <laughs> Just like me, guys, I'm not all that fan of football. But when there is a football match, especially if Italy is playing, I have to sit there on the TV with my husband. <sighs> And watch <laughs> even if I don't feel like support him show that kind of support and sometimes if I have something to do I'll just tell him you watch the football but I'll be here editing while encouraging him telling him that don't worry I know Italy is going to make a goal <laughs> you know <laughs> put him in that good mood <laughs> You will think that this is just, you know, nothing. But guys, it matters a lot in a relationship. Never ignore your boyfriend's hobbies. <laughs> if you ignore them, then that's going to be a problem. Same like you, you have your own hobbies. And if a man is a husband material, <laughs> a man to keep, will support you in your hobbies sometimes i don't say all the time so edith made a very big mistake to ignore listening to the songs that leonard has sent him and the movie that he asked her to watch it and tell her how she feels about it because he really likes it it's very very good <laughs> so guys it's like the devil was between these two everything went very very bad she could call me crying i remember one time leonard blocked edith and edith sent me the number told me please try to call him try to send him messages and tell him that i am sick sometimes she could get some difficulties and something very surprising is that even the mother blocked Edith. <laughs> that mother that used to love Edith very, very much, sent her money, blocked her. And to make matters worse, Leonard had given Edith his debit card. He went and blocked that card. So when Edith went to the bank to take some money so that she can go for a checkup, the account was blocked. She called me, she was like, you know, I don't have any money with me. I don't know what I'm going to do. These people have blocked me. So I tried to check the guy, but in vain. The guy could read my messages, but not responding. So it was a very, very bad time for Edith. And due to her pregnancy, I really used to feel very sorry for her. So time went and when remained like three weeks before she gave birth, Leonard unblocked Edith and came to Tanzania to see her. So when they met, they talked and it was like they have solved their differences. They also started living together again. After three weeks, Edith got a baby boy. Very, very cute. <laughs> so Edith was so happy that everything has returned to normal. Leonard was taking care of her. And after like, you know, three weeks, they started fighting again. Leonard never wanted Edith's relatives to come and visit her, saying that when they come, they spend the whole day there talking. He does not have enough time with her. <laughs> so that one was also a problem to Edith. She was like, no, I cannot allow you stop my relatives to come and see me. You know, I've been saying that if you are in an interracial relationship, 
if you are a man from a different culture or if you are a woman from a different culture you should try to understand the culture of your partner because in tanzania when you give birth yes your relatives will be there if you have your parents your mother will be there 24 7 with you even for two months or three months so here leonard was wrong they kept on fighting and every day it could get worse to an extent that leonard could not allow edith to go out and the reason is leonard wanted to take that newborn baby with him to norway without edith because he was insisting that edith does not love him edith loves his money only but Edith told him that you are not going to take my baby so Edith went to an extent of calling the police <laughs> for him and the police came took Edith out and that is when they separated Leonard had to swear that today you have decided to call the police on me that is the end of the two of us and if you don't want to give me my baby then you are going to suffer with that kid i'm not going to be giving you any money forget about my money so everything finished there so from there guys edith decided to go and live with the grandmother but she did not stay with the grandmother for so long because for the grandmother it was too much for her remember she resigned so she did not have any job she has a newborn baby to take care of and she doesn't have any money <laughs> can you imagine guys i remember one day she called me she did not have even food to eat she was in a very difficult situation she even tried to check this guy went to the embassy no help decided to call in norway no help guys what they told her is that leonard has got a bipolar disorder so even in his country they just help him to give him monthly allowance to keep up so he's not someone that is going to be supporting edith so in the end edith came to know that all the money that this guy was spending on her was the money that he was getting from the government and from the mother because the mother is a bit well off so do you see guys i think here you have something to learn if you're going to give your goodies use protection and never leave your job because of the man because the man is giving you money because he's telling you i'll take care of you no never resign from your job your job is your security remember as women we want that financial freedom so she kept on trying and one time she was able to communicate to leonard because he had unblocked her <laughs> by the way leonard is 30 years of age i've been telling you <laughs> how these men especially white men of that age can behave block you and block you so that's the game <laughs> <laughs> mentally immature <laughs> so he unblocked her and when she called him i still want that baby please don't make that poor baby suffer let me take him if you don't want go die with covid <laughs> Oh my god i'm laughing but it's very very sad guys to hear someone being so cruel to his own child <laughs> yes so white men abandon their kids too so the problem with leonard because Edith decided even to report the guy one time he came to Tanzania so she reported the guy to the Tanzanian authority that deals with kids affairs he was like Edith is a prostitute i've spent like ten thousand dollars on edith so she should use that money to take care of the kid because she took advantage of him do you see guys if you don't love the guy don't force it just because of money don't force it just because you want to go to america don't force it just because you want to go i don't know canada australia or europe don't force it be in a relationship with a guy because you feel something for him you love him that genuine love is everything guys so after all that like i told you edith was just at home with no job 
but she could get some help from one or two people because you know Tanzanian people are very very good they have that you know humanity in them they are always ready to help actually someone who was helping Edith so so much was the neighbor even giving her food to eat remember she couldn't look for a job because the baby was still little so guys one day as i was chatting to edith she told me that she wishes to find another man in her life and at that time her kid was a bit older so she had like a part-time job that she was doing and that is when i introduced her to the dating sites <laughs> so it was me who introduced edith to the dating sites so she decided to join online dating apps and when she joined guys she received a lot of messages <laughs> you know when you join at first you receive a lot of messages but what i want to tell you guys those messages that you receive the first day you join or when you have like two days or three days on the sites <laughs> most of them are from the players because they see you and they know you are a newcomer so they come to play their games on you <laughs> so she received a lot of messages she was all over the moon telling me that oh my god i've received lots of messages i'm chatting to these guys i think i'm going to find the one very very soon <laughs> and time went by after something like a month Edith wrote to me and was like, no, Bella, these sites are not working, full of fake people. All these guys have been asking me nude photos, <laughs> telling me weird things. The things that I've been telling you guys, the weird ones, <laughs> like showing the eggplants. So she told me, no, I am giving up. And you guys, you know, <laughs> at that time, I was free. I was not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and i think i was pregnant <laughs> yeah with sophie so what i did i opened an account on another dating app and took her photos everything all her information and the kind of man that she's looking for so as i joined i started you know chatting with different men on her behalf so these men knew they were chatting to edith <laughs> yeah and i was able to find a man for her actually that man it's me who wrote to him first so we chatted with this guy and this guy was very very good sincere he was really desperate to find the one so after chatting with him for a while i decided to connect them so that they can continue chatting so they chatted for so long and in the end the guy decided to go to tanzania and meet edith in person they met everything was very very okay the guy really liked edith very very much liked edith's son remember she has got a son <laughs> but edith started making a lot of mistakes because when the guy arrived edith started pretending i know edith she can talk <laughs> if you think guys i can talk edith can talk <laughs> but when the guy arrived edith could not talk she was not charming they could just go let's say for dinner edith could just keep quiet on the table just you know stare at her phone to an extent that the guy asked edith what is the problem am i boring <laughs> <laughs> Am I boring? Because all the time you're on the phone and when you're with your phone, you smile. But you don't smile at me. What is the problem? And came another problem whereby a guy asked Edith to go swimming. <laughs> Edith was like, I don't know how to swim. The guy told her that I'm going to teach you how to swim. <laughs> then Edith was like, no, I'm scared. So the guy told Edith, you don't trust me. That shows that you don't trust me. So they stayed like that. It did not go all that well. The guy returned in his country. The guy returned in his country, but still wished that things could change and they kept on chatting. Then Edith started again, guys. She started asking money from a guy. So this guy could send money and reach at a point whereby this guy could go to Western Union three times a week three times a week yes like i said don't judge edith but 
oh my god this is very very wrong so wrong don't ask men money online i've been telling you and i'll keep telling you so Edith started asking money the guy got tired in the end blocked Edith. so Edith sent me again the guy's phone number so that i can write to him and ask for an apology but at that time i was upset too with Edith, I told Edith I'm not going to do that. I am very, very sorry. I warned you, don't ask money. So it ended like that. Edith was crying, but I couldn't help her anymore. So after some time, everything had cooled down. And guys, if you have your friend, no matter how they go wrong, you can't just, you know, delete them. <laughs> then that is not friendship then everything good that you did to them you were pretending so i couldn't keep quiet on edith <laughs> we started chatting again i want to try again on online dating apps what do you think i told her edith yes you can join you still have a chance to find someone but please don't ask men money go for love be with a man because of love so guys she joined online dating apps and after a month she was able to find a serious guy from spain and the dating app that she found that guy is f dating i've been telling you about f dating so that's the site where she found this serious guy as much as edith might seem very unlucky but i can tell you guys she is very very lucky to find someone serious on online dating apps and you are a single mom, a man who will accept you, it's not easy. It's not impossible, but it's not that easy. So Edith was very, very lucky and they started dating. They could talk every day, but they had never talked on camera. So one day this Spanish guy asked Edith that, I want to see where you live. So they made a video call and Edith had to show where she lives. When this Spanish guy saw where Edith lived, he felt very, very sorry for Edith and told her that, you know, you are my girlfriend. From today, I'm going to be taking care of you. I want you to change where you live, move to a very nice house. I'll pay for everything. And it's true, guys, that guy, after talking to Edith, within three days he sent three thousand dollars for edith so that she can look for a good place to stay so guys this spanish guy kept on taking care of edith and the baby edith was very happy she could update me on everything because this time she did not want to go wrong so guys as you know we all have that best friend i think most ladies have that best friend even me i've got those best friends <laughs> i don't have one actually <laughs> i've got a lot of best friends so edith had that one best friend that she could tell her everything apart from me she could tell that best friend everything so that best friend went to edith for a sleepover <laughs> and as she was there you know a long distance relationship you always chat you always talk on a video call because communication is very important in a long distance relationship and that day that spanish guy called whereby edith's best friend was there so edith decided to introduce her best friend to this spanish guy they talked and after that they continued talking to edith and when they finished it was at night they slept so passed like a month and then this spanish guy started changing edith was very very worried she told me about it i told her talk to a guy you know even me guys when i was in a relationship before or in my past relationships if i could see a guy acting weird he disappears i send message he does not respond on time he is busy all the time he tells me i am busy i could tell the guy you know what be honest with me if it is over please let me know it is going to hurt me yes but it's better if i know the truth just be honest with me so i told edith talk to a guy tell him to be honest with you even if it hurts he should tell you what is going on 
what is wrong edith went and asked the guy and the guy was like because you have asked for the truth this is the moment of truth are you ready guys <laughs> for this guy's truth <laughs> this spanish guy told edith that you know what i'm in love with another woman and this woman is someone that you know edith was like how comes? How do I know this person? The guy was like, it is your best friend. The other time when we talked, I picked her name, went on Facebook, searched, and then started communicating to her. I am so, so much in love with her. She has got everything that I want in a woman. Please guys, try to put yourself in Edith's shoes, it hurts. So I still remember that day I had finished taking lunch and I saw Edith calling me. I was so surprised because when Edith wants to call, she asked me first, can I call you? But that day she called me right away. And when I picked, she was crying so much. She was like, Bella, why is that God does not want to listen to my prayers? Does this God really exist? If he exists, then why is that my prayers are not answered? Why is that I always get hurt? Why is that I am suffering this much? Why is he allowing all this to happen to me? Why? Guys, it wasn't easy for me because I know Edith's story from her past relationship till that day i knew everything that she has gone through so it was not easy for me but i tried to talk to her calm her down tell her that it's not the end of the world it's not over yet she should keep on fighting and she should not talk to god like that so guys after that this guy told edith don't worry i know you're worried about the rent but i'm going to send you money that will help you start a business which will help you pay your rent and take care of your kid. And to be honest, the guy sent money, Edith started her own business. But still hurt, she called me and told me, Bella, I am done with dating apps. I don't want to ever go back to the dating apps. But what I want to ask you, my dear, beautiful ladies that are watching this video, do you think the problem is the dating app or do you think the problem is the dating apps for me i think the problem is not the dating apps the problem is she trusted so much their friends even in her past relationship she had lots of friends but when everything went bad they abandoned her someone who was taking care of her it was someone that she did not even spend a coin on her when she had money, which was a neighbor. Where were her friends? Nowhere to be found. And in this case, she went ahead, trusted this friend, introduced the friend to her boyfriend. That was a mistake. There is a video I did where I said, protect your relationship, sis. And I told you how to go about it, how to protect your relationship from evil people, from people who are very jealous, from people who don't want you to be happy. Not all friends that you have will be happy for you if you make a little progress. They might be smiling with you, but just on the face, not in their hearts. So we should learn from this. Of course, I'm not putting all the blame on Edith. The guy too, I might say that maybe he was not all that in love, but, but maybe he felt sorry for Edith and her situation of being a single mom. Yes, maybe guys, because if a guy really loves you, no matter how much your best friend is beautiful, he is not going to dump you just because of your best friend. So the guy has got his own part too, but we should really learn how to protect our relationship. Something very, very bad happened here in Italy, year 2020, whereby there was this couple, they were all nurses, 
but they had accomplished almost everything they had the house they had a car they had jobs like i said and they had this friend this friend was a best friend of the guy so the guy took his best friend and started living with him in the house with the girlfriend they are still girlfriend and boyfriend fiance i might say a very cute couple guys that the guy considered to be the best friend but deep inside this guy's heart he was feeling a lot of jealousy because this couple had accomplished everything and they were happy madly in love with each other and the guy was still single he couldn't get any girl to be with him and it reached a point whereby a couple asked him to move out because they had other plans for that extra room where the guy was staying so what this guy did was horrible guys it's a tragedy he went to this couple's house he knew they were in the house he had the key because he lived there entered and stabbed both of them a lady was stabbed 40 times and a guy was stabbed 38 times till they all lost their lives but he was a best friend that guy considered him as a best friend and when the police got him he responded that he was so much jealousy he couldn't stand seeing them happy that is why i'm telling you guys be very careful even if you consider someone your best friend be always very very careful because people are not people <laughs> yeah so that is what we learned from Edith's story. She told me she is fed up. She doesn't want to go to the dating apps, but I had to encourage her, tell her she shouldn't worry because I am here. I will help her till she finds the one. But if she finds someone outside the dating apps, I will support her too. If she finds someone on the dating apps, I will support her too, but she shouldn't give up. So those were the challenges that Edith faced and that is our today's story so thank you so much for watching this video i know it's a bit long but as long as you have enjoyed watching it then that makes me happy give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video subscribe please if you have not subscribed until next time i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart ciao ciao